a CBDC is not a good idea, but your head's in the right place. Innovation in payments is where we need to go. Moving on to the last story we're talking about, which is the uh, the digital pound and, and UK is, is, I guess, making advancements to make that a thing. Now, the story, they were talking about the digital pound and I went through it up to now and then in, Typically, we talk about Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. The story I was perusing, it didn't really talk about Bitcoin. It talked about cryptocurrencies. It talked about the digital pound effect. Like, what are they referring? Are they talking about Bitcoin or are they talking a digitized uh, uh, UK uh, pound? Like, where? Like, I'm completely ignorant on this topic. Other sure. than, like, are they just wanting to say, look, your 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 pound is also digital? Like, and then how is that, is that have anything to do with, with Bitcoin or are they just using the blockchain technology to, to uh, uh, verify? Yeah, so that's correct. They are creating a central bank digital currency, um, not unlike what has been created. You know, the Eurozone is working on one, China has one, the uh, digital yuan, and of course, the Boston Fed is researching, of course, the Fed in general is researching a, a US central bank digital currency. So yeah, th this is uh, on blockchain rails. Uh, on and depending on the infrastructure and how it's built out, it could be a, diff a, a myriad of different layer ones that it are, are, are actually the uh, base layer for uh, this this uh, digital pound. Um, the important thing here, though, is the the bank uh, Bank of England is actually going to institute a limit on how much money uh, someone can hold in the digital pound for two reasons. One, they're worried about um, deposit flight risk, like how rapidly can p these things move uh, in a matter of seconds, right? So how rapidly can people move money and create sort of a bank run hysteria? And the other is uh, the banking uh, industry writ large in the UK is concerned about um, their deposits fleeing uh, and, and being able to rehypothecate those deposits. So this is clearly um, just an extension of the, the banking system that we have today, which is built on fractionalization and, and lending mm. and, and debt. So um, it, it's sort of ant, ant, the, antithesis, the antithesis of uh, Bitcoin and uh, a non-leveraged uh, system. So yeah. that's a little bit about the British Yeah, and, and one thing with the CBDCs is like, and, and I might be off the mark here, but it seems like here, at least in Texas or in the United States, or in, in, and I don't want to speak for the CBC, but there's a little anti CBDCs. Is that, is that fair or is sure. am I, am I overstepping or? No, that's so, accurate. so if we're, why are, why are, are we anti CBDC and then why would somebody be pro that? Yeah. So, it depends on how CBC is implemented. We are anti because we don't think that money should be politicized, and we don't trust um, the governments to around the world, including the U.S. government, to implement a CBC that has sufficient levels of privacy controls. Um, now, is it possible in a perfect world to have a CBC that has anonymized transactions and privacy controls? Probably, yeah. But we don't live in a perfect world, and and power corrupts. So. Uh, we don't think that money should be politicized in that way. It's already fairly politicized through uh, when we went off the gold standard and we've seen decades of monetary expansion, quantitative easing, specifically around the OA financial crisis and COVID, uh, money supply graphs, you know, just ex huge, huge expansions of, of the money supply. So it's already politicized enough. We can't politicize it further or we shouldn't. Um, that's why the TBC and most people in the industry, in the digital asset industry, are cautious or, or um, opposed to central bank digital currencies. Uh, now, we've got to be in the conversation, though, because we need to uh, influence policymakers and elected officials to say, hey, a CBDC is not a good idea, but your head's in the right place. Innovation in payments is where we need to go. Check out these, pri these private, uh, privately issued stable coins that, oh, by the way, Banks are, are going to be still uh, in this, this process. If you do a, a direct British pound or US CBDC direct to consumer, the banks are getting cut out of the, the process. And uh, I, 
I'm not an apologist for banks, but I do. I am a realist, and I understand that uh, banks have incredible political clout. And so you're you're, you're not going to win in a war anytime in the next five, 10 years fighting the banks in, in, you know, as far as like regulatory and politics mm-hmm. is concerned. So um, there needs to be a realization that there's other options, private sector options uh, that we can bring the, the banking se- sector um, to be involved with, including a central bank digital, or excuse, including privately issued stable coins and Bitcoin and other digital assets that uh, are not a central bank digital currency. Uh, devil's advocate, and this is devil's advocate because I clearly don't have enough information basis to have a real opinion, but is it possible that the reason, like I can completely appreciate, hey, the people in power, let's, let's let them do their thing, but let's keep them off the money. Um, could it be that the, like the Bitcoin, because let's face it, when it comes to, to finances, Bitcoin is, is king. And as you know, a lot of people like to say, you know, there is no second. Um, do you think is it possible that people are anti CBDCs because they don't want there to be competition with Bitcoin because they want Bitcoin to s- stay king? Uh, I think that's possible for for people in some corners. I think it's more so. Um, you know, I, I could it's, you, you can support the U.S. dollar and support Bitcoin and mm-hmm. be opposed to a CBDC. Uh, because the more stable coins we have, the more U.S. dollars are getting locked up in, um, you know, in BNY Mellon or wherever the reserves for the stable coin are, and therefore creating more demand for U.S. dollars. The more demand for U.S. dollars prolongs the dollar as a world reserve currency. The dollar is quickly cracking and, and fracturing. The world reserve currency status is not going to last for many more years. But if we can prolong that for a couple more decades, that's a good thing for U.S. national mm-hmm. security interests, for U.S. citizens, in my opinion, and I think in many elected officials' opinions as well. So it's possible that Bitcoin and privately issued stable coins and the U.S. dollar can create this, um, you know, trifecta of uh, of support for the dollar remaining the world reserve currency and exclude a CBDC from that conversation. Um, I think the most, the, the, the highest cited reason against a CBDC is privacy concerns and gov- government overreach. Mm. And, and bringing it back to, to the UK, um, because they have to, like the, 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 the blockchain councils over there, the, the Bitcoin maxis over there, they have to be having these same conversations. Do you, do you know if there's, what's the, 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 the opinion of, of them making this move? Do we know? We don't really know. I haven't seen any polling on this, but I can anecdotally say that in conversations with some friends in uh, the UK, including uh, Peter McCormick, who runs the What Bitcoin Did podcast, and uh, some people at the Crypto Council on Innovation, um, that there are different camps, and the UK is more likely to uh, accept the CBDC because their culture is a little bit less inv- individualistic mm-hmm. than, say, the U.S. culture. They're a little bit more, um, you know, uh, they go with the group, if you will. I know there's a psychology term for that, but I'm not thinking of it at the moment. But um, that is a little bit more part of their culture, so they are more likely to accept the CBDC rather than someone in the U.S. And as far as ripple effects, if say they do accept it and they move forward on it, what effect do you think that has globally, but also nationally and also in Texas? I mean, it heats up the race for payments infrastructure innovation. Uh, and so it makes me even more uh, dedicated and vigilant to say, hey, we need to have a serious conversation in the U.S. Uh, like getting this spot ETF approved, that's like table stakes. We got to do that, right? Get a spot Bitcoin ETF, get more uh, Bitcoin and, and digital asset innovation in the US, uh, get more banks involved with stable coins, take, you know, create some better risk controls around deposit flight risk for banks in stable coins, um, have the OCC and the FDIC uh, permit uh, non uh, or, or non uh, systemically important banks, uh, SIBs, if you will, to custody. Uh, those deposits, those reserves, the stablecoin reserves, um, get the whole infrastructure, the U.S. Uh, finance and banking infrastructure around the U.S. winning and not winning with the CBDC. Because they're going to say, you know, policymakers may say, 
well, why don't we just use the CBDC to extend the dollar's dominance as a world reserve currency? That's problematic for a couple of reasons. One, that will take year, decades to get approved, probably will never get approved because of opposition from, uh, from elected officials and voters saying, we don't want that kind of financial surveillance. And two, that's trying to um, really neglect all the innovation that's taking place um, over the last 10 years since the white paper was published in digital and digital assets writ large and and really trying to put those rails on traditional rails and there's people around the world that just don't trust uh, the US to have the kind of exorbitant power that we've had over the last four decades or really since Bretton Woods so since the the, the late 40s uh, as the dominant economy and the dominant world reserve currency. So we have to do something different. We can't just throw out a CBDC that's putting lipstick on a pig. Mm -hmm. I like that analogy, by the way. A CBDC is putting lipstick on a pig. Hey, it's Amy. Click over here to subscribe. Click over here for more content. And we'll see you next time.